They gon' love me for my ambition. Shout out to everybody out in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. The Weeknd is saying that he is no longer gonna do features. This is his last feature ever. Why? Does that mean that he's not gonna be The Weeknd anymore? He's gonna do a new name, a new alter ego? Is he just gonna go by Abel? Is he gonna go Spanish, El Fin de Semana? What the fuck does this mean? Hopefully, this is not the worst decision of his career. Cause why wouldn't you wanna do features anymore? Why wouldn't you wanna hop on the new Drake album? I thought that that was gonna happen in Reunion. I guess that that's not gonna happen. We thought that he was gonna do more Ariana Grande collaborations. Is there, what does this mean? It's very confusing. If he is gonna change his name from The Weeknd to something else, I think it might be the worst decision of his career as well. Because why the fuck would you do that? Every time an artist does that, it doesn't seem to work. It hasn't happened yet. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he has a trick up his sleeve. Maybe I should be quiet and get to the reaction. This is off of the brand new Diddy album. Love, the Diddy album. I am excited to listen to this new album. It's a long album. I'll probably have the reaction up this weekend on Patreon only. Patreon.com forward slash Club Ambition. But let's check out this song. Another one of me, Diddy, The Weeknd, 21 Savage, and French Montana. I can love you only This is hard. Puff boy flooding the streets, feeding oh. the fans, speeding the land, pray to the east, feeding the sand. I gotta go to heaven. I had a hell of a life. Fighting my bitch, married the game, made it my wife. Polar Ray in LA, no more part. Too short for the bay, got the E in the fort. Shorty wanna eat, but wasn't with me in the kitchen. I can turn a whole brick to an NFT. Cause I'm toxic. 21. We don't go on dates, I'm trying to duck the paparazzi. Diamonds on my body, I'm a hockey puck. Girl. My mama been around the hood like the ice cream truck. Still can't put a ring on it, she a nice team, but you can come and join the team. I got cap space. Cause on the bells, we'll call it fat space. Fall asleep on FaceTime when I'm away. She addicted to the game and she know I play. Now, this is fire. This is fire. Now, check this out. Diddy! All I am is a man with ambition to be the best but Wasn't even ready when God gave me the test So I pray you find love in the pieces of me that's left Feeling in your soul is separates from your flesh The nights that I cried alone they told me best Yo, sometimes you gotta go through the dark to manifest Sometimes that's you gotta smile The world will never get another me I ain't this shit if God ain't impressed Now, if that's the weekend's last feature ever, I'm not horribly mad at it. I'm not horribly mad at it for what it is. It's a good song. It's a good hook. Another one of me won't come around, girl. And he's like, ah. And he's like crooning. He's hitting very different octaves. Musically, it's beautiful. Sonically, it's beautiful. 21 Savage had a good verse. French Montana had a good verse. French Montana was quoting stuff from his Stay Scheming verse. Also, we have Diddy doing, doing a phenomenal verse. Diddy, I think, outdid everyone on the song. He sounded amazing. He sounded high quality, high level. It's only more exciting for me to listen to the entire album now because the single is really well done. God-driven, talking about ambition, club ambition. Very on brand for this channel. So I'm excited for that. But when it comes to The weekend, only doing this as his last feature ever, I... Man, I mean, I could see, like, oh, let's go out on the top. Very strong body of work right here. The song, the music video, everything. Piece of art. But the last fucking feature? I think his decision to do that is dumb. It's a very dumb decision, bro. I'm mad. Like, what the... What, I'm so confused. I feel like this is, this is going to be a bad PR stunt. Like, they're riding the wave of this like being the last weekend feature for promotion of the single. And it's basically the biggest news story of this entire Diddy album. 
the weekend's last feature ever. But then if he doesn't make this his last feature ever, it was lies. And if he does make it his last feature ever, the question always going to be why? Like, what does that mean? You know, Abel, we need you to sit in this car one day. You need to do a reaction with me, interview with me, conversation with me. Before you retire, are you retiring? Like, what is going on? Is he going to retire? It's very confusing, but the song is great. The video is great. Um, I'll give the whole song, I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a really good song. It's a really good song. I'm going to check out the Diddy album. Comment down below how do you guys feel about this reaction, this song. The Weeknd's feature, last feature ever. I think it's bullshit. I think he might be fucking lying. I hope he's fucking lying because I don't know what the fuck. This is so, is like, what? It's like one of those weird, like, okay, another PR stunt or another drastic change. Every time an artist does it, where there's drum, a, you know, a, every artist that changes their name, it does not work. They always come back to their original name. They gonna love me for my ambition.